In this video, we're gonna talk about the Violator versus a savage Viking spawn, a clash of the ages. You'll see what I mean. This is a pretty fun and brutal issue. Alrighty then, this is a comic book review of the Violator. Issue number two, brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. So we're just gonna go back a little bit. So previously in the Violator, the Violator, formerly known as Bazio, after realizing the unchecked hypocrisy of the Almighty, allegedly, he gathers together and inspires a mighty army that leads into war. He leads his men into a rebellion against the divine creator and fights for their freedom from enslavement, allegedly. After a stunning alleged victory against the Lord's heavenly forces, remember how issue number one ended, he got clapped back with that sword and he just fell to his downfall. He ventures out or falls into a new plane of existence in which to settle in and lead his people to prosperity. Yeah, that's how he claimed it happens. But where is the violator now? We begin this issue with him being a violator icicle. And he's like, I know, I know. You're wondering how I found myself in this predicament. Well, pull up a chair and let me tell you a story, a tale I like to call. So that's what he's going to say. That's him breaking the fourth wall. He's going to tell the story how he sees fit. So we get these holy hooded men in blood and snow in 793 AD pulling that violator icicle out of the water. And these holy hooded men are like, find your strength within. Let your suffering power you. But in the distance, one of the holy men is like, oh no, brothers, I'm afraid it's too late. We have no time. And what is he talking about? The emissary of evil is upon us. That ship and that bat with his necropasm eyes, Viking spawn is on there doing damage, doing work. Their doom has arrived. And one of the men on the ship was like, actual hell could not be worse than this infernal ship. Hold your tongue, fool, says the other man. And Viking Spawn is like, you think that is true, slave? Then allow me to hasten your journey. And what he does is he squeezes his head so hard that, yeah, he just pops his head like a like a cherry tomato just gushing all over the place. And let that visual sink in for a little bit. So Viking Spawn is like, any of you pathetic flashbacks care to join him? Yeah, I thought now. Row like the devil himself is at your heels. Because holy man, he is indeed at your heels. So holy men get to shore with Violator Icicle and they're like, faster, God give us strength. And Viking Spawn is like, uh-uh, ain't no God around here. God is not going to save you from this. So they get the gate open because they have to because all will be lost at this point. And the other holy man runs and he's like, we have been forsaken. And they turn around and Viking Spawn is like, before this brother could run into that cave with his other holy men, Viking Spawn goes in there with his bats and necroplasmic. And you got to understand like, and I think appreciate that that necroplasmic horn on his helmet, that's pretty dope right there. So Viking Spawn is like, fools, there's only one God worthy of your servitude, and I will send you all to meet him. So he throws all of his necroplasmic thorns at him, and it impels the guy, it impacts him, and he's just down for the count. He is slain. He can't go into the gate and for protection. So the other holy men are like, we cannot let him die, right? And they're like, no, we have our mission. We must not waver, but something must be done. The only thing we can do now for our fallen brother is pray. Pray that he's granted a place in heaven. But we don't know if he's granted a place in heaven. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and say that he was, but not before Viking Spawn has something else to say about that. And Viking Spawn gets pissed, like, give me what I'm here for, and I will kill you quickly. Don't, and I shall take my time peeling the flesh from your bones. It matters not to me. I will enjoy myself either way. It's almost like this brother is like, the more he kills, the more he likes it. And it's just, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm digging this issue so far. So Viking Spawn is like, you think your iron gates will protect you? Think again. And he uses his necroplasma sword to get up in that, you know? But meanwhile, the Violator in icicle form, he opens his eyes and he awakes. Star or at least begins to awake. So the holy men are like, we're doomed. Doomed, I would say, hush, brother, we must silence your doubts. We are here to serve God at all costs, even at our deaths. Now gather your wits and follow me this way. So they go into this tunnel, some dialogue and some escaping happens, but eventually Viking Spawn is going to catch up to them. And that hot necroplasmic blast just goes at him and they melt away in necroplasmic fashion. Where is he now? Where is your God now? And Viking Spawn has his own clap back while he's doing it. So he tells him more pressingly, where have you little mice gone? I want more killing. The more I kill, the more I like it. So he's like, which way did y'all go? So he's looking around 
and he turns to his left and he's like ah i see the trail fleshlings are making this way too easy for me so the holy men are like keep brother keep pulling pull pull this way so they're pulling using all their strength all their might they must be tired and you know they're hungry too and stinky but they gotta do what they gotta do so violet begins to wake up like what what it's so cold where am i I remember everything and we get a little glimpse of what happens back in the past so we know that Violet was cast out of both heaven and hell eking out an existence among the creator playthings trapped on this plane surrounded by things creatures that he had a hand in making every single one of them bellows with laughter over his humiliation both Lucifer and the creator must think no they hope my isolation will drive me mad but i will show them i will show them and he sees this sulfur fire coming down and it impacts real like low that's hiroshima style right there that's that's dangerous but the thing is he survived that apparently and in this form he is very hard to kill he found the heat of the jungle stifling, exhausting, but he preferred that over this excruciating cold weather. So most everything else is dead. Those that survived the impact, they're all dead now. He has no grasp on how long he's been here, and he has nothing but thoughts of rage, revenge, and justice coursing through his veins. And of course, life has a sense of humor and ends this way. He steps on a little thin piece of ice above the water so his thought is i can't accuse the creator of lacking a sense of humor as one of the damned i always assumed death by flame but this isn't entirely unpleasant it is quite i guess you could say pleasant but he breaks from his little icicle remembering everything yelling that he remembers everything and he's like i remember everything and we get like a glimpse of sad moment you know with him so violet is like you are men of god you pulled me from the sea why you may be cursed demon but that does not mean that you cannot be safe safe from who says the violator myself we always battle our own sinfulness but i was referring to a more immediate threat and violator's like ah you are clever you saved me and i help you fine i'll play now tell me about this immediate threat that you're talking about well if we had the time we would but he is here right now <laughs> I'd rather show you than tell you. That's the that's Viking Spawn's word. And Viking Spawn blasts him with his necroplasmic blast, hot, fuming out of his veins. And Viking Spawn is like, I am the threat. Oh, says the violator. You must be one of Lucifer's pets. The stories I could tell you. Wait a minute. There's something about you. Something familiar. And what he's talking about is an issue number one when he created that suit and used it to fight the armies of heaven, but they lost, but he knows the power of that suit. And Violator is like, Lucifer has never fought his own fights. He sends fools like you to do his dirty work. Well, if it is a fight you want, hold, demon, says the Violator. I'm here not to fight you, but to take you to Lucifer, to join his army in the battle with the creator. I come as a brother in arms. Don't listen to that abomination, says the holy man. Every syllable he vomits comes from the prince of lies, <laughs> says the Viking spot. We both know that the true liar is the creator. He claims to have given us free will, but brands us with sin before we draw breath. The creator is a monster who views us as nothing but a momentary distraction. Come. Join us and help Lucifer end him, says the violator. Quite the speech, hell spawn, but you know what? I remember why you seem familiar now. Your armor, your weapons, I created them. Lucifer gets all the credit and me, nothing. Does that seem fair to you? Then let me thank you now as I use your weapons to rend your navel to your neck, says the Viking spawn. And Viola is like, look at you, you wouldn't even exist if it wasn't for me, bruh. Lucifer is using you to his own ends, just like the creator he hates so much. And do you know what that makes those like us who believe the morning star? I believe the term is fools. I wake up albeit after paying an enormous price. And now, now that both of them are the same, I feel nothing for either other than rage and disgust. And after all this time, I need an outlet for my rage. What say you, Hell Spawn? You ready to dance? And Viking Spawn's like, bro, you talk too damn much, all right, you outcast? I am much more of a creature of action. And Violet is like, I was hoping you would say that. Now, before this fight begins, I just want to say this video is sponsored by coffee. So if you'd like to buy a boy a cup of coffee, link in the description or donate to the super thanks. But the greatest compliment you guys can do is by liking this video and subscribing to Rated Comics YouTube channel. Not to mention, don't forget to check out RatedComics.com for some really cool limited print 
rated comics exclusives we have some la comic con san diego comic con limited print exclusives i think you'll dig that it really look really cool in your comic book collection but with all that being said we got to get back into the content so violator stops his necroplasmic axe and viking spawn is like this is not possible and violator tells you, you think your weapons scare me little spawning think again and they go at it throwing hands at each other you have no idea what fear is friend and violator tells him but i will gladly show you and Viking Spawn is pissed like, I do not know what Lucifer sees in you, Bazio. And Violator gets pissed like, that is not my name. I am Violator. And Viking Spawn is like, and I am unimpressed. So he uses all of his chains to his mic to contain and detain the Violator. Chain says the Violators, what is this? Your last chance, Bazio. Throwing shade at it one more time. Where do I begin? What flesh shall I flay from your bones? Should I start with your eyes? And Violator doesn't even blink. Really? Says the Violator. You are an arrogant fool. So Viking Spawn's like, what? The chains are not responding to me? What did I do? What did you do? And Violator's like, I guess they have loyalty to the creator. You know, me? Now let's finish this little game, shall we? In a Hellraiser kind of moment, the Violator reverses those chains and pierces Viking Spawn and then rips him in half, as you can see right there and it is a glorious sight as you can see so violet is like not so smug now are we all this activity made me realize something he takes his head and he devours it i was famished and <laughs> the holy men are like christ preserve us and then violet is like oh hello i almost forgotten about you and so the holy men are like what do we do now well, that is a good question, holy man. You all look quite tasty, and I could use a palate cleanser. Who shall be first? And he laughs at his own joke, and these holy men are like, we don't know what to take of it, what to think of it. So Violator wants to know, tell me why would you guys release an accursed creature like myself to save my immortal soul? I suspect not, so tell me the real reason you did this, and remember, men of God never lie. So they tell him, we were tasked with keeping you from that Viking devil. And, says the Violator, then we were to kill your mortal form. Yes. And then send you to hell where you belong. And Violator's like, damn, I wasn't expecting you to be all that truthful. That's kind of messed up. So the holy men are like, so I presume that we fight now? Violator gives him a sniff. Nah, I'm cool. And the men are like, but why? Why don't you want to kill us? And he tells him, while there is no love lost betwixt myself and the creator, so too I hold Lucifer in the lowest regard. And since I was cast out from both of their realms, I prefer to work alone now. So you did pull me up and you did help me escape from that ice prison. And I will overlook your allegiance to your God and let you live just this once. So the holy men are like, we were given a task and we're just gonna let him go? What choice do we have? And Violator's pissed like, okay, look, before you kind of agitate my hunger, is there a problem? They remain silent and Violator's like, good, may our past never cross again for your sakes. And this guy, the holy man is like, making a deal with the demon to save our own lives? This will not be allowed. He charges and he goes in. I would rather die fighting you, demon, than live in shame and cowardice. Really, says the violator, if you insist. And the violator is strong, man. I don't know how, he's, he's got superhuman strength. You cannot go at him toe to toe. So one punch knocks him out and violator is like, anyone else share the same opinion? And these men are like, I think we good. I thought not. So Violator goes into his throat and rips out his entire flesh just in one swift pull. And he's like, I'm going to need something to wear. And this will work perfectly. And he puts on his suit, kind of hinting at the foreshadowing of his clown form Violator. So for being his favorites, the creator certainly gave them restrictive and ill-fitting skin suits. That's his monologue of the suit he's wearing now. And he continues his monologue. The hell viking ship, I guess they belong to me now. So let's get on with it then. I have much catching up to do because I cannot wait to see what the humans have done with this place. This is going to be fun. And as you can see, a little bit of foreshadowing with the clown coming about. And, but that is the end of the Violator issue number two. What you guys think of this comic book? Comment below, let me know. And also, if you like the content we're throwing out, because we do a lot of spawn reviews and a lot of spawn content and a lot of spawn world building. And don't forget to check out RadioComics.com too. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. With all that being said, thank you again for watching. Until next time.